So if you think that you might be out of a job in 10 years, what would you do? First thing you would do is save, and try, try to save, and try to accumulate wealth. Um, right? And if there isn't enough saving opportunities, that would just bid the price up of existing saving. Um, so I think that that's partly what's happening. But, but that's recommended to do for retirement anyway, because the social security systems of the world People say don't function anymore because of aging society, and right. So, right. so there is a need to do it, right? It's not um, the problem is it won't work if if, if there are uh, not investment opportunities to create new companies and new stuff, stocks, uh, new uh, such investments. Then all they'll do is bid up these, and when they come to sell them, the price will fall, and they won't have it. Uh, so uh, it's an unfortunate situation. Uh, and uh, even if the price is going to fall, people would, even if they knew that, they might still hold them because they have to do something to protect themselves. And what would you recommend, like a family member would ask you, um, would say like, uh, uh, well, what should I do with oh, what, As an individual. Yes. I, mean, I think when you say what I recommend, as society, I would recommend that we deal with this inequality problem in advance now. I don't have much prospect of that happening. Uh, what do you mean? Actually, I was just quote, uh, one of your uh, competitors in Germany called Bilanz magazine. Did you see this? Bilanz, it's from Switzerland, right? Oh, I'm sorry, it's from Switzerland. It's, it's in Germany. It's German, German, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was describing it there. But that, yeah. you don't. Your readerships don't intersect. No, no. Uh, so I, I wrote about in my book, New Financial Order, and again in my other book, Finance and the Good Society, that the risk of massive inequality in future decades is very significant. And so we need now, uh, in um, our modern society, to deal with that. We should make plans now in uh, legislation that would uh, redistribute income if it gets worse. So uh, he made kind of fun of me. <laughs> I saw the German article. I've studied German, so I sort of read the article. Uh, he, he says, well, we already have a plan like that in Germany. Um, it's called Finanzausgleich. <laughs> and I, I said, oh, what, what, I vaguely heard of it. What is, uh, what is Finanzausgleich? That's, and so the, 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 the title of the article in German was Finanzausgleich, but they deliberately misspelled it the way I pronounced it. And I said, well, but we need something more expansive. The German Finanzausgleich is not enough because it merely redistributes across the lender. And not yes, the, yes, but it's not within in the people, right? Right, but we need something like that for the people. Well, but what do you mean with inequality? You are talking about that the rich get rich and the middle class right. gets, gets not one little. Percent. Yeah. So, um, so you mean that means like you have to tax the riches more? Well, there's there's different approaches, uh, and this is me and my futuristic sure. thinking. I apologize if this doesn't seem to be something that has any prospect of happening in the near future. Uh, but one thing is just as you say, to raise taxes on the rich and redistribute to the poor. But I'm talking about not doing that today. I'm talking about a contingency plan for doing that in the future if inequality re reaches some intolerable level, which we would define today. But, but you see today already, right? Intolerable levels or...? You already... Or the question whether it's intolerable today uh, I, uh, I, would def I, would, I have an answer to that, okay, okay. but I'm, I'm thinking that it's, it, it's politically difficult to do the redistribution today. Uh, this reflects a psychological principle uh, that um, it has been uh, called, uh, what's, uh, I'm getting tired already today, <laughs> so sorry. Uh, 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 
I, I can't think of it now, but there's a principle that uh, has been demonstrated that people are more idealistic about the abstract, distant future uh, than they are about right now. So if you ask someone, hypothetically, if you saw people starving, would you help them out? They say, of course I'd help them out. But then you say, I have a charity here, we're sending money to Syria right now, then they pull back and don't want to do it. When they see the specifics, then they get confused about it. And, and uh, uh, oh, I think it's Aaron Trope uh, and uh, Lieberman is the woman, and they call it the construal, temp temporal construal theory. These are psychologists. And it, it's about how we view ourselves as generous, kind people in an abstract, distant situation. But not now, <laughs> not today. Awesome. So I think that it would be good that if the Finanzausgleich was a program that Germany instituted. For the poor uh, uh, states, for the poor states. States on a state. But it would be a state by state. And so this would be individual by yeah, individual. Yeah. But that's not the only thing. Then the other thing that I talk about is uh, increasing private sector insurance for individuals. You can insure them against choosing the wrong occupation by giving them an insurance policy that compensates them over their lifetime uh, for the damages they incurred by training for the wrong occupation. This but would field. that be privately insured? It would be privately or? issued, but it needs something to get it started. Uh, I've tried on various occasions to get uh, my uh, ideas started that are kind of, uh, un and I've learned, uh, and also from history, that it's very hard to, uh, people are very conservative about financial arrangements, it's very hard to come up with something from mm -hmm. scratch. But the idea, I thought, what governments should do now is start producing indexes of occupational income designed for contract settlement. Now we already have, every country has some kind of consumer price index. That was exactly the example that I'm motivating is if they were designed uh, long ago to sell contracts, of, uh, inflation indexation contracts, and that was because of a perceived risk of price level of instability. A risk that became very clear by various episodes in history. But I think we're about to launch onto another episode where occupational incomes will be very unstable. Uh, because of technology. Because of technology. It, it's happening, you know, even occupations that you'd think were very safe. For example, lawyers. I'm talking about the United States. Law schools are in trouble because it seems like new legal software is reducing the demand for legal research. Uh, and what about newspapers? Uh, I don't know about Germany, but in the United States, uh, writers are having difficulties because, well, that has something to do with new technology. It's kind of indirect. It's the internet. Uh, so, uh, but they may have PR options or social media. So there is one door right. closes, another one opens. Isn't right. that a saying that's something true about it? Like right, so that's what, when I did, this is all getting technical, but you're 